Okay, hi everyone. This is Elsie Kearns. Happy lunchtime. And I have my Sun, Moon, and Star shirt on today because I'm speaking with Pam Young Hans. And I asked her to come on to help us understand what's happening. Still have a lot of chaos going on. And Pam, I'm particularly interested in understanding from you know your weekly free journal that I was reading. Why is this new moon that's happening tonight so powerful? What's about this? Right, great, perfect questions. Thanks, Elsie, and it's good to see you. Um, so yeah, in my side of the world, it's it's still in the morning hours. Um, let's see. So let's start with the new moon, just because that's right in front of us here. So the new moon is tonight on the east, on the west coast. It's about nine o'clock and just after midnight on the east coast of the United States. And this is an exceptionally powerful new moon. Uh, that's because it's going to be conjunct Pluto. So that's a piece of it. Now, Pluto is a big, it's a small planet. It's called a dwarf planet, but it is a quite a powerful planet. Um, Pluto in mythology was the god of the underworld and he is in charge of a process of death and rebirth. And so this is a big time of transition. Uh, if we want to think about, you know, the whole thing of the phoenix rising from the ashes, well, you know, it goes through a burning up process first. And that is a lot of what the Pluto process is, is about. It's the burning up, but then it's the the emergence after that. Um, now this this new moon, we're also on the anniversary, the one year anniversary of the Saturn Pluto alignment that happened last January. It was January 12th. We also had an eclipse right around that time. And that really set the themes for all of 2020. So big transition um, socially, politically, individually just huge things going on and of course we've seen that over the over the past year don't have to enumerate what all of those changes have looked like at this point but having this new moon conjunct pluto on the anniversary of the saturn pluto alignment on the anniversary of an eclipse as well it's really emphasizing all of the lessons it's like bringing all of those lessons that we've been working with into a focal point. And that focal point really extends over the course of this lunar cycle. So it's for the next four weeks. So that's just a really powerful time. We need to be prepared for a lot of transition, a lot of things that feel like they're outside of our control. And it requires us to get down to what Pluto is ultimately about, which is personal empowerment. And as long as we I like to say give our power away, but I know some people don't like that phrasing, but as long as we allow what goes on outside of us to control us through fear or anxiety or whatever else, uh, we really are giving our power away to outside circumstances. But this is Pluto conjunct the moon, conjunct the sun for this new moon. So this is about claiming our empowerment, which first step of that is being in charge of our own energy field, being in charge of our mental state, being in charge of our emotional state. And I, I agree that's a huge challenge right now because there's so much going on in the world. But I think that's also one of the bigger, the higher purposes of this time, if you wanna look at it that way, that with so much being out of control outside of us, we have to go inward. We have to say, I need to manage my mental state if I'm going to make it through this. I'm going to need to manage my emotional condition if I'm going to make it through this. So we have to become in charge of our, of our thoughts. We have to become in charge of our mental and emotional states. And that's a process. That doesn't happen overnight. We, you know, there are lots of meditations that will help with that. I really always recommend um, meditations that are channeled by Sinea Roman. 
Uh, she channels a being called Orin, and if you go to her website, which is orin.ben.com, uh, they have a lot of free meditations there. There's one that I've posted on my Facebook page called The Spirit of Peace. It's about calling in the spirit of peace, which she says is, is a real being, a real energy field. And so the meditation takes us through, you know, calling on our own soul and calling on peace to us, but also calling on the spirit of peace to help us individually, but also to help the planet. And I really feel like this is another place where our true empowerment lies. Um, we have access to all of these realms, all of this help, but we have to ask for it. And that's not a lack of power. That's knowing how to use our ability to ask. And that is a power. Our ability to ask is a power. So we can ask for help, we can ask for peace, we can ask for assistance from our soul, from our divine self, whatever you believe in, whether you call it God or you call it you know, divine source or um, your own spirit guide. This is the time to pull this in because each one of us is important. And the more that we can focus in, the more we can claim that power within us to be the light, to be love. Um, that's what's going to help us move through this transition. So that was a lot. Does that make sense, Elsie? Yes, absolutely. And that gives some clarity of the fact that you mentioned in your newsletter that it is really about you know reclaiming our own power and how we work with owning who we are in our personal life. But I know we're going to have even more of this tomorrow night, Wednesday, January 13th, from 7 to 8.15. And you've titled that webinar, Unchartered Waters. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about how we're still sailing in uncharted <laughs> waters. Right. So, um, yeah, so the webinar is tomorrow night. Um, it's actually afternoon on the... Pacific time, it starts at four o'clock. Um, and so I called it Uncharted Waters because we're coming into really new realms that we've never been in before. I mean, that's true physically, if you know very much about how not only the earth, but our solar system, the whole universe moves through space. <laughs> we're actually moving through space, new space all the time. So there's that sense of we really are entering uncharted waters all the time. But this is, you know, we had this big Jupiter-Saturn alignment on December 21st on the solstice. And there's a lot of change that is brought forth by that alignment. That alignment happens every 20 years, but we know that it only happens in Aquarius every, I can't, don't have my numbers in front of me right now, but there's like a 400 year mark and a 600 year mark where we're really um, at a novel time. And it's a novel time we know just because everything else that's going on as well. But the uncharted waters is because I believe that we're being asked to go beyond what we've gone before as a humanity. And that is uncharted waters. There's so much about what this Jupiter-Saturn alignment represents. One of the things it represents is the expansion of our own individual consciousness. I mean, Aquarius is about the expansion of consciousness and Saturn is saying, you know, take charge of it. Jupiter is saying, move into it in a bigger way. And so a lot of what we're experiencing right now is each one of us individually, that expansion of our understanding of the cosmos, our expansion of, cos of consciousness. And that's going to take us in completely new places, not only individually, but as more and more as that happens for more and more people, that changes humanity. That changes how we go forward from here. Um, and I'm actually calling all of 2021 a cosmic experiment because I think this is really a testing time. 
um, I'm so I'm rambling on. I'm sorry. I was supposed to focus in on the on the webinar, but um, this is a testing time. Can we work together to make the kind of global changes that need to be made for humanity to move forward? Um, not just survive, but move forward and and be productive and work as one and all of that. So this is uncharted waters. Humanity has never been faced with the kind of well, the global pandemic, um, you know, nothing has been here before that's brought us really together in quite the same way, which is, of course, revealing all the places that we're divided. So it's it's really a time of deep contrast. But the uncharted waters is that we are at a very new time in history, and it really is going to be what we make of it. And Again, going back to tonight's new moon, that's where our personal, our personal journey, our personal empowerment is so important. It's how each one of us makes this a time of, of deep change for us, you know, letting go of the past. Pluto is a lot about purging the old, letting go of the past, especially those things that have held us back, that have contained us, and moving into a more spiritually empowered place in our lives. I think in the journal, I call it called it coming into our spiritual sovereignty. And that's really what it feels like. Wow. Well, we certainly need to do that. And everyone online seems to be talking about meditations centered around the heart and connecting that brain and heart together, thinking, from the heart versus the brain. And so that is right in line with what you're saying about spiritual sovereignty. So everyone, please, I'm gonna put the link up, come join us tomorrow night for Unchartered Waters, learn more about this cosmic experience with astrologer Pam Young Hans. And I put the link there, if you sign up, you can join us, there'll be a replay. So even if you can make tomorrow night, you will get the replay, a beautiful slideshow that Pam is gonna do, and uh, also an audio replay. So you'll have a video, audio, and slideshow. And the calendar. And, and what was that? And calendars. The calendars. And the, cal the calendars, right. right. Well, the calendars are important because they have little fireworks <laughs> on the days that we need to be more alert than ever. So again, the calendars, the slideshow, a video replay, and also an audio replay. And we will be on Zoom tomorrow night, 7 to 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 to 5.15 Pacific Standard Time. So click the link, join us. And Pam, I can't wait for tomorrow night to get more details and insight. Great. Thank you, Elsie. Great to see you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Thanks, everyone, for joining us.